Oh, we move from Finland to France. Hi. Um, can I have the little? Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Thank you. Okay, fine. Um, so uh, I am Edith from France, and I'm presenting here Cop Cycle. Uh, so what I'm gonna do uh, is first I'm gonna explain you like the context. Where does it come from? Uh, then I'm going to explain you the model that we are aiming at and that we are developing each day. And then, in order to not be the giraffe on the tree that we just saw, I'm going to also like uh, share the challenges that we had and some of like the solutions that we found. But uh, it's still like kind of uh, to be discussed together, I guess, because this is kind of challenging that different co-ops can um, face during their development time. So, um, cup cycle, where does it come from? So basically, uh, it's come from a day-to-day -day experience that we have like in uh, Western cities, uh, which is uh, the, um, all the delivery riders uh, that are really like an embodiment of the gig economy realities that just burst uh, quite recently, like two or three years ago. And um, so it's really like these kind of workers that uh, for our society have really uh, like awful working condition. In which sense? Uh, first of all, they're working on demand via a capitalist uh, platform where they have no voice over, uh, on it and no control over it, definitely. Uh, they have no social protection. Uh, and which is really important for uh, our kind of society. Uh, and uh, there's something that is, uh, I mean, important to notice also is that this kind of companies is kind of uh, undermining uh, our welfare system by promoting a kind of work, labor regulation, or irregulation, like no regulation at all, that undermine what we were fighting for, for like more than 100 uh, cent, uh, like no, one century. So, um, therefore, we, and furthermore, what is um, problematic is that it operates in a winner takes all economy that is really fragile actually and really competitive but fragile like for example one of the company that is called take it easy just brand group uh, two years ago and this uh, summer there was like announcement from uh, withdrawing of Fudora like one of the big deliver bag deliveries company from France Australia and the Netherlands so to talk so uh, that's where we come from um, we started like uh, one year ago uh, because all the ingredients were there. So uh, f first growing this content among like all the bike riders uh, and they started to have like collective actions around Europe. So we kind of follow them. And what is I wanted to point out and I think that uh, Frederick, you're going to speak about it, but um, it's also that one of the collective actions that they made is like a uh, union as well. So we are kind of, uh, some members of Cop Cycle Network is also part of union. So just to let you know that it's, and to answer your question as well, that there is like some kind of uh, link between cooperatives and uh, union. Um, and who are we? So we are a small group of activists. We are about 20 benevolents. We are coming from diverse backgrounds. And we were gathered around one idea, which is, which is uh, create an alternative model where riders are the cornerstone of the bag delivery activities and not the profit, definitely. And so we, from the beginning, we kind of uh, wanted to be a platform co-op. We went to the New York conference of last year and now, uh, and we were at that time in the audience, and now we are speaker. So that is already an achievement. So, um, uh, um, so yeah, and it's also an achievement of this kind of PCC conference. Like, definitely, it's really motivating. So, um, uh, so yeah, what it is exactly? So you have to picture like our model. Our model is basically we are thinking about a um, network of local co-ops. 
uh, to work on own, definitely. And um, there will be, they are strengthened by pulling their resources together. So, uh, so why, where are we at right now? So, there is 20 uh, local co-ops right across Europe. It represents 60, uh, 60 riders around, and it's uh, 1,2 million euro. But what does it mean? It's not cop cycle that is like that. It's like all local cops uh, income revenue that are added like that. So uh, and uh, so, how do you? What do you? What do we offer? What are we building? So we are develop pooled services. First of all, it's like the software. Software is as, as usual, is really important, so we have dev in our team. And uh, this software is basically both um, handling like e-shops uh, e for like uh, end users uh, that can completely buy on it, like on the delivery platform. But it's also like uh, managing, like it can, uh, can monitor, um, how can I say it? Like it, um, it's for like this, the bag, uh, co-ops to monitor their own shift and their rides and everything like that. And it's really interesting because we tailored from the feedbacks from the co-ops. So it's really made for the co-ops from them and it's like a service that normal platform not, don't have it because they're not speaking to the people basically. Uh, we also, uh, for sure, from because uh, of our uh, four strengths, like the fact of being global, we can do bulk purchases, we can do a mark marketing that are much more effective, and also we are answering global scale requests for tender. And uh, last but definitely not least, um, gathering all the forces or strengths of all these local co-ops together um, allows us to promote the value of eco-responsible and ethical bike deliveries. And so this is also the aspect of gathering forces together. Um, so here you can see a map, we are definitely across Europe. Some of them are just projects, others are already running. And here I wanted to add these slides because it's important to underline that actually, like, what is platform co-op? It's also like about community, as we uh, said a lot. And this was like uh, taken at the end of uh, the August because it was our first um, global meeting that, when, well, that we organized. And it was really amazing to see everyone got, um, sharing cooking pot, whatever. So it was really interesting. Uh, and now that's challenging, so I just picked two because there's a lot, and um, because I think it might be interesting uh, to a broader audience. So first of all, uh, economical, definitely. So I, I, as I said, it's like really a competitive market, and uh, how can a co-op uh, like cope uh, under these conditions? So, first of all, for sure, the pooling the resources, but it's also like um, we're not focusing only on food tech because food tech is not possible, it's not feasible because you have orders only on lunchtime and dinner time. So, no, it's not a viable, sustainable activity. So, the idea is how to um, put the delivery activities in a broader frame of all, uh, I mean, food tech delivery activities in a broader frame of different bike deliveries activities. And of course, public financing, and we just got like, for example, a finance from the city, uh, Paris City Hall, and we just learned it yesterday, so, yeah. And also legal, and that is really interesting, and uh, we have a solution, but it's not easy. Um, so the idea is like we develop the digital platform and you want to, it to be open source for obvious reason. But the problem is that we don't want it to be uh, used by uh, the corporation that we are actually uh, fighting against. So how you can uh, protect open source software. So it's a broader question about protection of digital commons and uh, we're not gonna answer it like right now. But um, our solution so our solution is that we have a lawyer in our team and he, he, like, he build a new license 
that can at least protect it, and it was inspired by the Creative Commons and the PPL. But uh, this is like a hand for all the co-op to work on this issue, because um, it's how to articulate open source protection from misuses and retribution of the people that are contributing to this uh, digital common. And we are already working from, uh, with a French lawyer, but uh, yeah, definitely there's lots to be done on this side. And that's all. <laughs>